Let's get to the war in Ukraine right now. Poland and Britain considering sending a, a battle tanks there. Uh, this is a move that would end their nearly year-long refusal to deploy advanced weaponry against Russia. Now, if this were to happen, it would put more pressure on other allies to follow suit. The news comes as the U.S. Navy secretary warns that our country might run out of weapons for our own naval forces because too many of them are going to Ukraine. Tom Dempsey, live at the nation's capital with more on this story. I think a lot of Americans' ears just perked up, Tom. Yeah, absolutely, Adrian. You know, the U.S. Navy secretary really put it in simple terms, saying that within the next six months, the U.S. military may need to choose between arming itself or sending help to Ukraine. Now, to be very clear and to put this into context, this was not criticism against Ukraine aid, rather a reflection of ongoing supply chain issues with the defense industry and weapons production. Defense One uh, made uh, this initial report, and the comments were made by U.S. Navy Secretary Carlos Del Toro during a uh, national defense uh, conference held in Virginia, not too far from where we're standing. And he said, quote, if the conflict does go on for another six months, for another year, it certainly continues to stress the supply chain in ways that are challenging. Now, as this war in Europe drags on, the U.S. State Department reported last week that America has given almost $25 billion in security assistance to Ukraine. That includes over 1,600 Stinger aircraft missiles, thousands of aircraft rockets, as well as a Patriot air defense system. Most of those weapons come from the Army's stockpiles, and the funding for the aid remains separate from the defense budget. But even defense companies continue to be impacted by supply chain issues and worker shortages. At this same conference this week, the commander of the U.S. Fleet Forces Command noted how torpedoes and inter interceptor missiles have arrived late. Filling the orders for the Ukraine war has only spiked demand and made the problem worse. Now, Moving forward, what could happen in response to all this? Well, back in October, President Joe Biden added on to the Defense Production Act to boost the speed and production of weapons. But at this moment, it's still unknown what sort of impact that's having on this ongoing situation. Adrian. All right, Tom, our thanks to you. And again, I think a lot of people, a lot of Americans paying attention to what happens, how we can affect or uh, improve our own security nationwide. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.